Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Love Reading. Scorpio, I hope this video finds you guys vibing high. Uh, it is coming to you from a very dark, rainy, cloudy day here in uh, Arkansas here, Scorpio. And you know we love the rain because we are water, uh, but they're talking about thunderstorms here, Scorpio. So uh, I hope this video finds you guys doing amazing once again, Scorpio. Uh, in spite of the things that may be happening externally that you have no control over, uh, you still have to move forward. You still have to uh, boldly claim what is rightfully Scorpio's. Now, Scorpio, this is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. If you are new to my channel, thank you and welcome. Uh, thank you to all of my uh, previous Scorpios, my continued Scorpios, my current Scorpios. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the high vibrational comments. Thank you for your financial gifts. Thank you for my members, highly favored. Thank you for joining me, Scorpios. I appreciate you tremendously, Scorpio. So check it out here, Scorpio. We're going to pull from your spell casting deck here today to pull your overall energy to see what spirit has for you, what is floating around your energy, Scorpio, whether you are aware of it or not. And then, of course, we're going to delve right into the tarot, Scorpio. So check it out. You have financial health. So this seems like your money good, honey. It's almost like, look, look, look at your money tree. You see how full it is and plentiful? You see that? Financial health. Health. It didn't say help. It say health. What else? You got financial health. Give me another card for Scorpio Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? And you have... <laughs> prosperity and I swear I've just been seeing green because your previous videos I put love in bold green and I see those dollar signs in green and here it is financial health prosperity one more card for Scorpio spirit what does Scorpio need to know peace I've seen this peace spirit is trying to get your peace honey and you have protection here. Ooh, you got the PPP. <laughs> Scorpio, you got the PPP. You got prosperity, peace, and protection along with financial health. Ooh, look at you. Scorpio, hashtag PPP. <laughs> prosperity, peace, and protection. You are highly protected, Scorpio. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Not against your thinking capabilities. Negativity is not going to plague your thoughts. You have peace. Negativity is not going to damper your shine. You have protection. You have everything is covered. Spirit says that your financial uh, situation is healthy. It's very, very healthy and full of vitality here. And the top of our spirit said, because I got you. That, that, that's how come it's so. Because I said so. Spirit say somebody better come up off of you, Scorpio, because they got you. Spirit say, if I be for you, Scorpio, who can be against you, Scorpio, is what I'm getting, Scorpio. So let's read this. We can, now, you know we got to read them. We have to read this beautiful energy, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Now, let's start off with your financial health. I'm going to read just the... Um, just the gist of it. So it says, you might find yourself drowning in a sea of red demands if you don't slow down and take stock of the mess you're in. Burying your head in the sand won't get you out of the hole. You're being urged to recognize that your uh, avoidance, uh, inexperience, or irresponsibility has become a liability and you can't afford to ignore your desperate situation. The worry, stress, and anxiety that accompanies debt has taken its toll and you don't know where to turn to. Acknowledgement and responsibility of the debt is the first step in rule of magic. When weaving a spell to improve your financial health and become debt free once and for all. So it tells you, you could take a patch, a, a, a patch oil and a black candle during a dark moon at sunset on a Saturday and then say something. But your magical meaning says, stop your extravagance, seek professional advice, uh, money owed is paid off. 
expect a windfall. Have faith as your financial life heals. So it's like spirit is telling you, yeah, you're about to, your financial situation is about to change. But if you don't change the, 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 the thing, the, the mindset, the habit that put you in that predicament, then you'll just continue repeating it. Spirit is saying if you're facing financial situation, oh, it's about to uh, ex uh, improve in a very, very dramatic way. But don't take that same habit once you acquire, because it's almost like spirit's going to help you recomp. You, you're about to reestablish re your finances here. But don't take the old habits into this new opportunity to flourish in your finances with spirit. So spirit said, I got you. Just don't keep effing it up. Is what spirit say. Now you got prosperity here. See, spirit trying to get you everything you need. So it says, it's been a long, hard slog, and you've wondered if you will ever reap the benefits that you've worked so diligently for. As you face financial responsibility, a little extra cash would certainly be very welcome at this time. Remain calm and courageous for your con constant worry and concerns, like the same thing, are about to be the thing of the past. As a successful and flourishing circumstance beckons, the energy of affluence surrounds you, spell, signaling that opulence and financial success is yours for the taking. Wealth is knocking at your M and F and Do Scorpio and asks you to invite it just a little luxury. For this is a moment, for this is a most prosperous time. Now, your magical meaning says stop focusing on money and you'll be supplied. So I feel like the same rule applies. If you stop focusing on love, it's going to happen. If you stop focusing on money, it's going to come. I ain't say don't do that work. You got to do the work. But if you stop hounding it, it comes. Stop focusing on money. You'll be supplied with what you need. Be careful what you wish for. A lucrative deal is an offer. A lucrative deal is on offer. Understand the law of attraction. See, you got to understand. You got to understand the law of attraction. You have to put yourself on that frequency. You can't be doubting, negative, but uh, trying to get what you want. It, it, the universe answers to your frequency. So now you have peace. It says this is a time for quiet, a time for reflection, to be still. The peace you crave require you to slow down, to stop thinking, and to take time out. Give yourself a challenge to be silent in order to hear the love messages of angels' whispers to feel the spirit rest upon your head and to open your heart to appreciate the beauty around you. Scorpio, be still, breathe, and go deep into the sanctuary within. Here in the sacred place, you'll find restoration of balance and harmony. Once you've convalesced, uh, convalesced in tranquility, you'll be able to see with new eyes and achieve a sense of peace in every moment. So it says, hold a white feather in a snowy quartz, snowy quartz crystal as you face east at sunrise during a full moon phase on a Monday. Light a white candle and say, well, that's long. I ain't going to read it. So meaning, your magical meaning is a peaceful agreement is reached, order is restored, your prayers for peace are being answered. Indulge in some me time and engage in prayer and meditation. That's what, look, you got that peace that surpasses all understanding. And I'm going to read this protection in order for you to have the PPP and the F thing going on here. Protection here. Do y'all hear the rain? You can't stop the rain. We can't stop the rain when it starts to fall, when it starts to fall. I just heard that. Da -dum -dum -da 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 you can't stop the rain. Scorpio, you can't stop the rain when it starts to fall. Ooh, Scorpio, that's your love coming down. You can't stop it. So it says, it's time to retreat simply and quietly from a situation. Danger could be lurking in the shadows and you're being urged to assess the situation carefully. The magical symbol of the pentagram lends you its sacred sight. 
This ancient talism, talisman calls you to speak to seek the truth as it encircles you within its energy of protection. Scorpio, it's vital that you're shielded from the harsh energy of others as your sensitivity increases. When you open yourself up to higher spiritual vibrations, protection is always key to give you the freedom to work your magic, to work your ish. And your magical meaning is place your truth in the pentagram. You need to be grounded. Surround yourself with the positive energy of others by imagining a circle of white light around you. See the Scorpio spirit say anytime you're trying to go higher spiritually, it opens you up for all types of negative things. While I am on YouTube opening myself up, I'm open. Any anybody who punches, anybody who has any type of platform whatsoever, you could be on Facebook, you're open. And, and it's a spiritual thing because you're not physically around people. It's a spiritual thing. So that's why you have to always protect your energy because you got people just want to do negative things to you and they don't even know you, 11-11, and they don't even have to know you. But because of the demonic energy that they have going on in their life, they try to project it off on you, Scorpio. You know how it is, Scorpio, but you're protected. You're in this PPPF energy, okay, Scorpio? So now your overall energy is the Hierophant here. You could be dealing with the Taurus here. This is some type of institution. Uh, maybe you're getting spiritual advice here. Maybe you're seeking spiritual answers here. Maybe you are connecting with the source. Maybe you're praying and meditating. Maybe y'all will start going more to church. Maybe somebody coming in want to put a ring on it. Let's see. Oh, I see this King of Wands. I see this Three of Wands, and I see the Six of Wands. So I'm going to take the Hierophant here. All right, Spirit. Now, these are all feminine cards, but we're dealing with energy. It doesn't matter here. So, all right, Spirit, what's going on in Scorpio's love life? Spirit, show me Scorpio's love life. What does Scorpio need to know? Seven of Pentacles here. Somebody wants to invest. Somebody wants something to grow. Maybe you want something to grow in a relationship, Scorpio. Maybe you're waiting for something to finally grow to the next level. I see that devil card and the sun card. It's almost like, Scorpio, you're waiting for something to grow and develop, something to uh, advance, something to make progress within a relationship or co a connection. I feel like you want to take it to the higher level of commitment. You're waiting for it. All right, Spirit, show me Scorpio's love. Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys are holding back or maybe someone is holding back from it. Maybe someone is holding back and you're waiting to see if someone is going to commit to you, but they're holding back here. So let's see. Page of Cups, there are some messes coming in here. Page of Cups could be someone who is secretly crushing on you. Huh. Knight of Cups. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Judgment. All right, Spirit, that's what it is. One more card for Scorpio, Spirit. I see the Three of Swords dropped out. Let's see. Knight of so uh, One more card for Scorpio. I see Death. Ah, could be dealing with another Scorpio. Strength could be dealing with the Leo. So you have the Knight of Cups. I see the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So it might be somebody extra in the mix here. Someone could be holding back because they're already involved with someone, Scorpio. You remember spirits say, you know, you have to, you don't have to chase after anything. If you want love, just let it be. If you want finances, don't chase after the money. It would just happen as long as you're putting in their work. So you could be waiting for something to get something to mature in a relationship, but they're holding back. But then again, maybe they're not. Somebody's in the Knight of Cups is, is coming in to offer their cup here. Someone's probably about to make a judgment call on their independence here, whether or not they want to remain single or not. Scorpio, this could be you. Could be them. Let's see. You do have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. 
that Leo. And the, the only cups in here, Scorpio, is that Knight of Cups. Ooh, all I see is Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Oh, I see the Page of Cups. Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups here. So something is developing here. Something is growing. See, somebody somebody wants to work on something because something is growing. You go from Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, to the Knight of Cups. Something is growing here. It's almost like you're waiting on someone to commit to you, but they're holding back. But little, little do you know, their feelings really are growing for you. It's taking them some time because it's like, it's almost like you, you've grown on someone. Have you ever made love outside in the rain, Scorpio? I'm talking about directly in the rain. I ain't talking about on the porch where the rain pass you by. I'm talking about directly in the rain. That's just a thought. <laughs> Have you ever got down in the rain? That's a whole nother experience. So what's up with this higher fin for Scorpio spirit? Clarify the higher fin for Scorpio. The higher fin. Mm. Ace of Cups. I feel like this is what you somebody's wanting. Someone wants this relationship. You got justice. Could be a Libra. Ace of Swords. I see the Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands here. Who is this Knight of Cups for Scorpio Spirit? See, you got either Libra coming in here, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It's like a commitment. It's, there's an opportunity. There's an, an opportunity coming. It's like somebody wants to bring balance here. Someone has had a breakthrough or it's almost like you wanting this and little do you know what's happening behind the scenes. I feel like you've been waiting for this. I feel like you've been waiting. That could be them. But I feel like it's you've been waiting for the relationship to grow. But someone was holding back. But then again, I feel like they're changing because I feel like this judgment is about to make someone take action. So what's up with this? Because I feel like maybe they held back. Maybe they were trying to resist, resist your love here. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Scorpio Spirit? Clarify. Who is this? Clarify the Knight of Cups. Who's this Knight of Cups for Scorpio Spirit? Knight of Cups. <laughs> it's the Knight of Wands here. This somebody got a lot of pleasure, a lot of passion for you, a lot of fire and desire. Temperance, see there? They can't wait to come. Oh, but I do see the Three of Cups and the Emperor. This is somebody here who miss... If this is someone from your past, Scorpio, this is somebody who misses you intimately. And they're trying to take control. Maybe they've been waiting on you. Because I saw that death card. Maybe you done ended it your Scorpio way. And now they're sitting over here jonesing and fiending for you intimately. And, and, and you, probably ain't, you probably ain't doing nothing about it here. Perfect. out this Knight of Cups. See, somebody got it bad for you. But spirit, it's, it's all about time in here. This person wants to come back with you because they miss you physically. See? <laughs> Queen of Cups. See? There's somebody here want to offer their cup of love because they want some of yours. They, they say, let's sip out of each other's cup. You can drink as much of mine as you want because I'm going to drink all of yours. So what they saying? Tell me what the cards say. There's somebody here who was waiting, is waiting on you. But you could be holding back because maybe this person did something shady. I did see the three of swords here. So let's see who holding back. Why is this four of pentacles here for Scorpio spirit? Clarify this four of pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this here? <laughs> Clarify the four of pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this here? Four of pentacles. Page of wands. You probably holding it back because you feel like they don't want nothing serious. They they immature act and all they want to do is just have fun and have a good time. They're not looking to really give much. This is why you're holding back from this person. And see, this is what how they come and they come in at the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, with the Temperance for the Queen of Cups. It's like they got this insatiable passion for you, but it seems like that's all they're trying to give. 
But it seems like this person has feelings for you, Scorpio. But I feel like this person misses everything about you. But once again, once they show Scorpio how they really are, that's all you see. So you hold them back because you feel like they're too immature. You could have felt like this person was had you in competition. Let's see. Why is this four of pentacles here? Clarify the four of pentacles. You said they were just too childish. See? You ended it. See? Could be another Scorpio. See that? This, this, they're waiting on you then. But they want this. This way you got... Somebody's trying to come clean and tell you something. They're trying to tell you the truth. Now that you're the end of it, you holding back from them. And you're just that. Some of you guys are staying single, at least from them. You already got the nine of pentacles, so maybe this is you. So some of you guys are saying to yourself, this person didn't want to give much. They were very, very childish. They just wanted to have fun and just, they wasn't taking the relationship serious. So you ended it. And now you're doing your thing, Scorpio, and this Nine of Pentacles, and you're doing it very, very well. And now they want to come back and work it out. See, you got the Eight of Pentacles over here. and the, See, you got, already got the Eight of Pentacles here. Now, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> It's the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you were waiting on this person to... Maybe that's them waiting now. See? There you go again. The Six of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Seven, six, eight of Pentacles. Seven, six, six, eight. Mm. <coughs> For some of you Scorpios, you got tired of waiting to see was this relationship going to take off or make progress and you got tired of waiting to see was this person going to invest and give into the relationship here. For others, this person is waiting on you now. They're waiting to try to get back with you because they want to come back. But this time, like I said, they're going to put the work in. This person, so you see these eight, and you got all these pinnacles. See, I feel like this person wasn't investing into you, Scorpio. You done messed around and you doing your own thing now, this nine of pinnacles. Now this person, whoever this person is, now they want an opportunity to start over and make it right with you with this Ace of Cups, Justice, and the Ace of Swords. So they're coming in ready to bear all. They're going to come and expose and tell you stuff now. This is the same person here who was, I feel like they're in love with you. They want your love. They want your passion. They want your uh, energy back. Because this is you. This is how you left the relationship, Scorpio. You left them and you went on and you focused on you. And you're not sad. You're doing it alone. If they didn't want to build with you, you had to figure out how to do it on your own. And that's what you're doing. Now they're waiting for an opportunity with you. You got tired of waiting on them. Now they're waiting on you. So now you have the Eight of Pentacles here. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio Spirit? Eight of Pentacles. It's the Three of Wands. See? That's them again, I feel like. Or maybe this is you focusing on your work and you said it's something better out here. You turned your back on them and you're looking ahead because you know that something better is coming. You just you just focusing on your career and things like that because you feel like once I once I death you, it's a wrap. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. judgment maybe this is you you got judgment here twice eight of pentacles maybe this is what you've decided you had to take control over your life scorpio and make some real tough decisions and some of your decisions were to let this person go because it began to be a burden on you i feel like this person was just hanging in the balance there was no movement it was just stuck and so i feel like you decided to just move on and just focus on you Especially if you were wanting someone to commit and take the relationship to a higher level of commitment to build, to, in, to, to uh, invest into something. So this is why some of y'all ended it and you went on and you started investing in yourself and you started growing. And now you're not even paying attention to this person. Eight of Pentacles. That's probably why they page of cups here. Five of Cups. Some of y'all do regret it though. But I feel like you decided to take your pride, take your emotions and move on here and just focus. 
I feel like, like it's saying here, I feel like it was a very, very, you had to really make up your mind and choose. Um, you may have come hip. You may have just had this awakening that it is what it is. They're not going to build with me. That's okay. It may hurt. I feel like I'm losing out on something because I don't feel like it's fair. Um, they don't either. This is why you have justice card, but at least I'm going to make up my mind to just focus on me and to continue looking ahead for something better. And that's what I feel like you're doing. And then it seems like as soon as you do all that, I feel like now they want to come in and apologize. It's almost like you made peace with it. It's almost like you're making peace with the rejection, with the relationship not happening like you wanted to. And you're like, okay, well, there's other people out here. It's more fish in the, in the sea. You know, that's cool. I just move on and just focus on me. That's what I feel like you're doing. So now you have this page of cups here. Why is the page of cups here for Scorpio? Page of cups is the nine of wands here. They're going to that wounded, bruised soldier again. There's somebody here coming in here to apologize to you because maybe they felt like they did you wrong, Scorpio. There's ten of swords here. From the king of swords here. Let's see. Clarify the page of cups. Who is this, who is this coming from, spirit? Somebody here who is feeling like they're, they missed an opportunity with you. Somebody who, who is not happy. Or someone here who fears that you may reject them because they do have this page. We clarified a page of cups. This is someone here who is fragile and, and uh, vulnerable. <laughs> but this is somebody here who wants to come in and offer you something. Although they pushed you away. Because you probably got tired and you realized this person wasn't taking the relationship serious. Now this person wants to come in here and apologize to you, but they fear that you're not going to accept it. Or accept them. See, and it's going to take a lot for this person to do this. I'm telling you, with this fool card, it ain't easy for them to face Scorpio. Especially when Scorpio left in the, in the death and the nine of pentacles. Oh, it's not easy to face you, but they like, F, I'm going to go on and do it. But please believe they're doing it shaking and trembling here. They're shaking and trembling, but they want you back. I mean, that's that's what it is here. You got the Hierophant, but see, they want a relationship now. The Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, Justice, and the Ace of Swords. This is someone here who is, they, it's almost like they're having Scorpio withdrawals. It's almost like they can't wait any longer with this tempers and this queen of cups. They want you now because they may feel like if they don't do something, it's, it's over. So let's see. You got the strength card here. You could be dealing with the Leo here. So let's see, Spirit. Why is the strength card here for Scorpio? Clarify strength. Strength card is the two of swords. So this is someone here who may be um, trying to build up the courage even though they don't know what all is going on in your life here. It's almost like they're making a, a, a blind move because they want this so bad. Look, the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. See, this, like I say, whoever this person is, they're scared. <laughs> it is what it is. This person is very, very afraid because it's almost like someone here is eating their words. It's almost like someone is eating their words here. What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you don't give up. It's almost like this person is scared out their mind, but, but the push and pull is so stronger. It's stronger than them. You had to leave this person alone, Scorpio, and focus on yourself. In order for them to realize they want your love. Somebody wants your love back. They want this Queen of Cups love here. But, but you're not focused on them now. You're focused on your stability and your singleness. This is your soulmate, Scorpio. This person, like I said, this person is trying to stand in their courage so bad. But they feel like they're walking into a trap, so to speak. But, but like I say, but the urge got them so bad, they can't help it. They're going to have to face it because this is drawing them. And, and once again, they, they miss you. They miss this, this, 
passion between the two of you. They got a passion burning inside them, Scorpio, that they feel like only you can quench. <laughs> they say, Scorpio, it's only Scorpio can quench this burning desire because it's only for you, Scorpio. This is a tailor-made passion. It's specifically for you. Everybody can't handle this, but Scorpio can because this here is yours. It's for you, see? This person has an uncontrollable passion for you, Scorpio. But they're scared. Now you got this other nine of pentacles. Why is this nine of pentacles here for Scorpio? Nine of pentacles. Eight of cups. So, somebody walking away. Someone walked away. Scorpio walked away, and this is how you end up seeing. I feel like this is you. Ooh, but I see the Ten of Pentacles. Because you feel like you can find something better here. With this Eight of Cups, you got the Nine of Cups, and look, they go to Ten of Cups. I mean, Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, one more card for this Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Chariot card. Wait a minute. Let me put these back because I didn't shuffle these right. All right. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Why is this here, Spirit? Wait a minute. Take that one back too. Let me start over, Scorpio. Because I didn't, it didn't feel right. Don't judge me. I'm just telling you. It didn't feel right. Let's see. All right. Why is this Page of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. See? Now that makes sense. See, when you claimed your independence back and your authority... It's making them feel left out. See, they feel left out of your life now because you Scorpio them. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles. Ha, huh, snap. <laughs> Queen of Swords energy because y'all don't give a what. See there? Because in your mind, they were up to no good, Scorpio, with the Seven of Swords here. Now, for some of y'all, this is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius you were dealing with. You're the Nine of Pentacles making, leaving them out. And you left them out because you felt like this person was detached and, and doing something shady. They were sneaking around. They were being dishonest in some kind of way. And you have questions here. You question or you found out something. Either way it goes, Scorpio, your, your, your thoughts towards this person is not the same. I don't see you engaging with this person. It's almost like this person took you for granted once again. They may have belittled you, put you down because you wanted a relationship, but they just wanted fun and pleasure. You wanted to build something, but they just wanted to fun and pleasure. So I feel like you had to do what you had to do for you. Now it's a problem with them. Now they want you back. But I feel like in your mind about this person here, they're feeling left out or you're leaving them out because of the dishonesty here. Now this could very well be you and this queen of swords leaving them out because you felt like they were being dishonest. Take it how it resonates. But you got that air energy showing up again. So now you have justice here. Spirit, clarify justice for Scorpio. Why is this here? Clarify judgment. Judgment. I said justice. Clarify judgment for Scorpio. <laughs> Stay rain. This dark look. King of Swords. Told you it was a sword. So maybe this Queen of Swords is you now. You looking at them like they ain't ish. They they ain't worth they 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 don't tell the truth. They full of lies. This is why they're trying to come into you now and tell you the truth. They got the Ace of Cups, the Justice, and the Ace of Swords here. This person's going to tell you something. It's going to clarify the higher fit. And maybe they're telling you about maybe they didn't want a relationship. They were scared of a relationship. Because I feel like you wanted the, you want the truth about how, how they were moving. So judgment, either you're making up a judgment call, you're making up your mind because you have judgment on your side too about this king of swords 
or this king of swords is making a judgment call because you made one to walk away from them. Clarify this judgment for Scorpio spirit. Why is this here? The world. See, I feel like you're, let, you're letting this cycle close with this king of swords. I feel like you're letting it just end. After all, you've already walked away from it. You're deciding that you don't want them no more, Scorpio. It ain't the other way around, Cross Watcher. Even though they trying to come back in and do all these things with you. and Or maybe this is what you desired them to do. I feel like this is what you desired for them to do to come in, but they were taking their sweet time. They took their sweet time about building something, but when it came to everything else, all they was on it. With the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands here. Because this person was, this person, this person may have had some type of, may this person had a, a high sex drive. But look who they bringing all that to. They was bringing it to the Queen of Cups. So now that you feel like you know the truth about this person, now you're cold to them. You're treating them like they treated you, Scorpio. Now you gives no ifs about them. See, you're letting the cycle close with that King of Swords. You made up your mind, Scorpio, because like I said, you said that day late and a dollar short with this Knight of Pentacles. Clarify judgment for Scorpio. Judgment, see? Because you say you know your worth and you know that you deserve so much better than those little crumbs and they look they little thing that they started trying to bring you, Scorpio. You, you See that, Scorpio? Could be a Libra. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, see that? Emperor's always showing out here. You have to show them that, that they ain't all that. They don't want to build with you, but they want to come in and have fun with you. And you like, God yeah, dang, little boy, you better go. On. You have to show somebody you mean business here. So you have the three of swords underneath the bottom. I mean, cups. What else for Scorpio on this person, spirit? King of Wands. Could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries here. Y'all hear that rain? King of Wands. The Emperor. They go to Emperor now. You already see. Somebody trying to take action, Scorpio. You making them want to move now, Scorpio. Because you got the Empress right here. Now, this could be somebody totally different coming in. I don't know. It could be somebody else. Like, look, damn, I see Scorpio. Somebody over there look like they my match. Could be this king of wands that's going to take action towards getting you. And it could be the same person. And now that you done said all you done said, you ain't saying nothing. You focus on you. Now they want to come in and try to do something about it. Could be an Aries. Page of Pentacles. See, the other one was the Page of Cups. Page of Pentacles, they sure ain't coming with much though, huh? <laughs> they ain't coming with much. Oh, that's just, oh, that's just, oh, that's just a, that's just a sample of what's to come. Look at that, Ten of Pentacles, there it go. See there, Scorpio, they do want something, but I feel like this person had to make up their mind. Sometimes you have to leave them alone and go on about your business. Like that, um... Like the car, see, Queen of Cups, they want your love. Sometimes you can't watch it. You have to get off of it here. But this person may feel like they've missed their opportunity with you with this Four of Cups. Or that you're going to reject their offer, especially if you left them alone. Two of Swords, they just don't know. They don't know. Like I say, they feel like they're coming into a... a, a, <laughs> a, a so it's almost like this person's going in the unknown coming to you, but but they're gonna do it. <laughs> it's taking a whole lot for this person. This person gonna come shivering and shaking. Their voice may be cut now, their voice may be low, because they're going into something that they don't know what's going on. Especially if you ended it in such a <laughs> you ended it like like this with the death card and the nine of pentacles. So they, and then if they especially if they feel like you're looking at them as the queen of swords, see, they want that queen of cups back. <laughs> but they but they know if they coming in here to the queen of swords, it could be very, very ugly. See, 
They just coming in here to make things right because they said they coming out the cold. They don't want this. See, it could be a Libra. They coming in here to make it right if you let them. You just had to show them, Scorpio. That's all. See? This person is tired of no movement. This person is tired of no communication, no, no nothing. They're coming in here to tell you the truth. Once again, they're going to bring you truth and clarity. Because this person is moving towards you. Like I said, they're coming towards you. One more card. Now that you don't care. See? Because they're stuck. They, but see, they feel like their hands are tied. Because they don't know what they're... They don't know if you got somebody else. They don't know if you still want them. Eight of Wands. Somebody's going to either start back talking to you or they're going to pop up at your house, Scorpio. Look. They caught it. See? Ten of Cups. There it is. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. See? 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 You got to you gotta walk away sometimes and let it let it do what it's going to do. Sometimes it come back to you and sometimes it don't. But in life, there's no such thing as losses. It just means that there is something better for you. So whether this is this person or someone new, but I feel like it's them. If you walked away and let it go, this is coming back to you. That is, if you want it. Because it's definitely coming back to you. It's coming back, Scorpio. It's coming back to you. It's coming back around. It could be a Libra, Cancer. You got everybody in here. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus here. Look, you got the Ten of Pentacles and the freaking Ten of Cups. Got Justice card twice. Eight of Wands here. Fast moving energy. See, you had to show them, Scorpio. That's why they scared of you, Scorpio. They don't know what you're going to say or do. I feel like your word really lands home to them. You know how to get them moving. And you may not have ever even known it because they may not respond or show you. But please believe your words be touching this person. You cut this person down to the bare meat here. Your word affects them. Whatever you say to this person, whether it's good or bad, it affects them, Scorpio. Because they're in love with you. And they've never met anyone like you, obviously. But all right, Scorpio, this is your rainy day love, Scorpio love reading. Uh, I'm sending you love and light, abundance, replenishment, purification, healing, love and happiness something make you do wrong make you do right yeah all of that scorpio you deserve it scorpio but if this is you you're standing in your power you're single you done gave them the deuces keep on moving forward when you get when you release it in the universe the universe sees that you're trusting it and then the universe can release and give you exactly what you desire and sometimes we're dealing with people it's just not the right time because sometimes that relationship will hinder your growth but you see, some of y'all, this relationship only pushed you to go on and further yours. It just put your, 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 your attention back on what it needs to be on, on you and doing for yourself, especially if you are single, Scorpio. But you get it at the end of the day anyway. You win. You remember, you got the PPP and the F energy. All right, Scorpio, this is it, honey. If this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. I love each and every one of you beautiful Scorpios. Thank you guys so much for your support. Please hit that notification bell to all leave me a high vibe and come in, Scorpio. I love you, and I'll talk to you in the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.